So the one choice that guarantees you growth in your UK property, okay? Now, what is it? Well, it's a unique strategy that we call our regeneration strategy. You know what, is it unique? No, there's lots of people doing, there's lots of people making money from it, but it's a, a, a relatively unknown thing because what happens is most people when they grow up, they think they need to go on an estate agent, they need to stay local, and you know what, historically you had to. Historically, when I first started in property, it was better to buy down the road than it was to buy across town because you didn't understand the market across town, okay? Nowadays, the data, the you know, information that's available, everything is there that you can operate pretty much anywhere in the world if you really want to, okay? So that's where things have changed. But what is the regeneration strategy? Well, it's simply this. What I look for in property, okay, is I look for areas that are gonna undergo significant growth. Now, how do you get an area to grow quickly? An area, we're not talking about an individual property now, we're talking about a whole area. Well, pretty much large scale regeneration projects. You might call it gentrification, you might call it a whole range of things, urban, sprawl, whatever, okay, depending on which country you're in, but it's basically where there is large scale changes in the fundamentals that affect the individual properties in that area, okay? Now, what are these fundamentals, okay? There's five of them, okay? And these apply across all markets, every single market I've ever been in, all right? And they pretty much determine whether something is worth a lot, which most people say expensive, or whether it's cheap, and most people say obviously it's cheap, you know? Um, and what are they? So, shops, schools, transport links, major employers, major investment. Now here's the key to this, all right? What is has the biggest impact? It's major investment. So we start, when we say it, we say it for the low, lowest, okay, shops. They have the least impact, okay? Schools and education, yeah? Scops, shops, schools, transport links, okay? Trains, planes, automobiles, all this sort of stuff, buses, yeah, okay? Maybe bikes in your area, electric e-scooters, whatever if you have them, you know, whatever means of transport, getting around, okay? So shops, schools, transport links, major employment. Major employment, jobs, yeah? You know, so that helps, that's the second most important, and major investment, money bring, bringing into the area. And why does that really take effect? Because what that's gonna do is that's gonna help grow the area. So what I wanna do is I wanna get in when an area is down here, but I can see the money coming in. And when I do that, very quickly what we see is the change in fundamentals drive the price up. And because the place gets better, it's more attractive to renters and the rent drives up as well. So what we're trying to do is within whatever market it is, the market could be sitting stagnant, but because of the amount of investment, the amount of change in fundamentals, we see an increase in our, the value of our property and the rental that we're receiving. And that is the key to the regeneration strategy that I talk about, okay? So, and you know, we've proven this time again. In fact, if you look at just London, the areas in London where we've invested in when it's been here, and then we've ridden up there, okay? And then a lot of our clients still hold them today, yeah? So, you know, at the end of the day, regeneration is almost a certainty, as long as you adhere to certain things. And we'll go into more details on that in another. But in this video, I think, that's enough now to really explain the regeneration strategy and, and the, the, the real crux of it and why it's important and why it actually pretty much guarantees you growth in your property that you're buying within that area. And it means the area will be at a really good level that will, will last for probably a decade or two before if the investment doesn't stay coming in, it might start to decay and degrade. So like, subscribe, and be sure to comment, and we'll be happy to answer any of your questions. If you enjoyed this video, why don't you download a copy of the book, UK Property Investment Guide for 2023, which covers all 23 of these topics in detail. And really will get you a really good foundation of understanding and certainty built. So simply download it, fill out your details, and we look forward to uh, chatting real soon.